What's up my people and welcome back to Just A Coin and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Grove Token and its evolution that will be taking place over the next 2-3 to three months or so. But before I get started let's have a look at the market chart for Grove Token and as we can see Grove is currently sitting around the $41-$42 million market cap and it is still accumulating and distributing between these levels of support and resistance around here. This has been ongoing for the past 4 days now. So the possibility that Grove makes a move very very soon is quite high, especially because on the 20th of November, so in 6 days time, the Grove token phantom blockchain will be released. Once that happens I believe that Grove's prices will increase in the market and there will be a lot of profit to be made. Now as exciting as the phantom blockchain news is, Grove's evolution announcement is even more exciting. The evolution I am talking about is not in regards to Grove V2, it is about Grove X. John G reiterates that Grove are not going to have two tokens or a token and a coin. It will all be under the Grove coin name. It is Grove's migration from being a token to a coin, as they will soon have their own blockchain. Grove's current roadmap does include Grove coin. It's the transition from token to a blockchain and it is definitely something to be excited about. Once you are a coin, it is a completely different world. It becomes now a currency which can be used for actual payments. It can even take over a currency for an entire country, like with Bitcoin becoming the national currency for El Salvador. Now just imagine growth being a national currency. Everything is bought in growth, not dollars or pounds or even euros or whatever currency you use from wherever you are watching this video from. But bought in growth. That's a massive evolution ladies and gentlemen. Grove also announced that GrowthX will be a non-custodial wallet as opposed to a custodial one. The difference between the two is that a custodial wallet, so like Coinbase, FTX, Binance, Crypto.com, KuCoin.com, etc. You give custody of your assets to the service provider of the wallet. So they take full control of the custody of the digital assets and the key phases they are behind. Whereas a non-custodial wallet, like what GrowthX will be, and like what Metamask is, and Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, etc. Allows you to maintain custody of the wallet's key phases and its assets yourself. So effectively meaning that non-custodial wallets are more about a respect of privacy and actually letting your money be your money as you have more control of it. Which I believe is a lot smarter for GrowthX to be a non-custodial wallet than a custodial one. And until the mess on central exchanges is cleaned and earn credibility again, Decentralized exchanges is the way to go and GrowthX hopes to be on the forefront of this shift as they are now building a non-custodial decentralized exchange. The Grove team agree that borrowing money from investors stored tokens is wrong and Grove assures that they would never do something like that. Furthermore, with growing unsettling news in crypto right now, which of course is referring to the recent bankruptcy and issues surrounding FTX, Grove B will keep us away from that. There are many benefits of the Grove blockchain, as we can see some of those right now. Grove X exchange will include a proof of fund and reserve monthly, tokenomic support, it is built and licensed in Dubai, a country with the goal of becoming the center point of green energy and new technology two audits by reputable firms and if I hadn't mentioned this already this is projected to be released in Q1 of 2023 so in the first quarter of 2023 a few months away from now the growth X exchange should be released to us ladies and gentlemen. Additionally another positive is that as it stands Grove is in zero debt meaning that Grove blockchain is currently profitable. And now, on top of today's announcements, in celebration of the recent big news announced yesterday, Grove are extending their 5% cashback offer on all Grove token purchases. It now ends next week, Monday the 21st of November, which is awesome guys. Again, it just shows how much the team at Grove care about their community. Furthermore, a $10 million solar farm will soon come online using the Grove blockchain for its business activities and transactions, which is big, big news for Grove business ladies and gentlemen. And finally, before I finish this video, I just wanted to cover something that I thought was very interesting. This Twitter page is called BSC Gems Alert and it has recognised Grove's potential. And remember guys that Grove is a project that was only founded 8-9 to nine months ago. Think of how far it has come and how much further it can go. This Twitter page has over 184,000 followers and when they put out a poll to its community, the majority voted in favour for Grove to be the next big gem. So it seems like Grove is not some little underground project anymore. 
Just for the record, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, so please do trade at your own discretion. I merely just stated my views based off of my own research, but otherwise, if you want to keep up to date with all the hottest new crypto coins that are going to catastrophically blow up and make you the most gains possible, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel, like the video, drop a comment down below on your thoughts on what coin you'd like to see next, but remember guys, it's just a coin, and I'll see you in the next video.